Okay, so hopefully you saw in 1, 2, and 3 a pattern. So if you were to factor 3b, you would have a minus b and then a plus b. So in number 4, I'm asking you what is being squared to give you 81y squared? And that would be your 9y. And then what's being squared to give you 100x squared? And what I like to do is when we recognize that we have the difference of squares, if we start out with parentheses squared, minus in between, parentheses squared, then we can fill in what our a is and then what our b is. So what's being squared to give us this 81y squared? Again, that's your 9y. And then what's being squared to give us 100x squared? That's 10x. So your a is 9y and your b is 10x. b squared, of course, is 100x squared. So, But just the b is 10x. So we can use the formula that we've discovered up here and just pop it in. So your a is 9y minus your 10x and then a plus b would be 9y plus 10x. So this is a formula and normally we aren't you know big fans of formulas but this is a handy one and you discovered it and it will be useful in the future. So you can use this, but you don't need to. You did one and two all by yourselves without a formula, so it's not that necessary. So now I want you to try five through eight, and then go ahead and continue on.